Hi, welcome back to the channel. As you might have noticed, we've had a little makeover here. Got a new branding name for the channel called Cone Machine, because that's what I do. I hit, hit cones a lot, so I figured it's appropriate. Anyway, I did an autocross a few days ago with uh, Brandywine Motorsports Club up at Ripken Stadium in Aberdeen, Maryland. I was the only car and seat prepared, so I won again. Um, kind of disappointed. Uh, my first run was a 44.3. Figured I can get down to the 43s pretty easily, and that did not happen. I had a 44.0, which was dirty, and my best run, which was clean, was a 44.1. So finished 10th overall in raw time, so I guess that's kind of an improvement over what I've done uh, past few autocrosses. Um, so anyway, without further ado, here's my fast run with Solo Storm data logging. Yeah, that's just finishing up the uh, Gatorade I had on Saturday because I drank about six of these because it was like 90 degrees and humidity was unbearable. So just felt like after watching that run, I had to drink more Gatorade. So anyway, a um, couple things take away from that run. Uh, most importantly, that's like my 25th run I've done in this car on LS version 2.0. And I haven't had any issues really at all. Just run without any problems, load up on the trailer, Go to the vent, unload it, do five runs, load back on the trailer, come home, repeat. So um, I guess it's reliable now. Back in the old ESP days, that's the way it would run. Uh, secondly, if anything, I'm not I'm not fast, but the car does sound great. Just go back and watch the video, turn your volume up to 11, and it does sound really good, I think, if you like American V8s. So anyway, I got another autocross in a couple days with DC Region down in Waldorf at Regency Furniture Stadium. Again, only driver and seat prepared, so I guess I'll just have to see how I do on raw time and packs compared to everybody else. So anyway, until then, keep the shiny set up. <laughs> 